Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound CuI2. So we have two different elements here. We have Cu for copper and we have I for iodine. Let's just see which one is the metal and which one is the nonmetal. So Cu, which is copper, right? This is a metal because it's in this little block over here. It's right here on the periodic table. Anything in this block is a metal, specifically a transitional metal. Iodine is a halogen and halogens are nonmetals. Iodine is over here on the periodic table. So that's a nonmetal. Now we just got to name them. The metal name always stays the same. So if this was copper on the periodic table, it's going to be copper now. Okay. Now the nonmetal, in this case, it's iodine. The nonmetal always gets the IDE ending. So it was iodine, but now it turns into io died. The NE drops and you add a DE. So that's why there's like an IDE here. Now all you got to do is just make sure, you know, do we need a Roman numeral or do we not? Transitional metals need a Roman numeral. Since copper is in this block, I do need a Roman numeral. But the Roman numeral is easy to find. The Roman numeral is always the charge of the metal. So I just got to find out the charge of the metal, but that's pretty easy to find. All we're going to do is we're going to take the subscripts and crisscross them back up. I had one copper and two iodines. This one told me that the iodine was a negative one, and this two told me that the copper was a plus two. Now we just got to do just, you know, a little check just to see if we're on the right track. But since iodine is a negative one, and that's the oxidation trend that it wants to be. It wants to gain one electron. So if that trend checks out, that means this is the correct charge. And copper is a plus two. So the Roman numeral is a two that goes in here. And now you are all good. So CuI2 is copper two iodide. And that's it. Hopefully this helped, guys. If you want, click the like button. Tell me in the comments how you're doing. Love to talk to you guys. And as always, I hope you have a great day. Let's keep studying hard. Good luck on those future tests and quizzes. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.